share like anything you... any stories anything you guys can say yeah well so yes, you can use dev dhanush you guys only tell one story like any one of you but one story choose go we'll say dhanush okay hey dhanush uh, tell the story some story about electro green how did it go like for the yeah. people, they haven't had a fest that was the only thing yeah. 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 at least second years we were like dry from first year we didn't have any fun when we went to our department uh, electrical guys from the first year could uh, relate next year for sure uh, we had a fest called El- electro green it was a national tech fest and uh, name tech fest but we had fun for a lot guys and uh, those who took part in events like jam master blaster quiz uh, i mean the event uh, entire department was on a high the sound they created the vibe and it's what just electro green said, like and uh and let's not forget uh shaurum uh, won jam competition too yeah we have a winner here yeah thank you I mean, it was fun like you guys literally did a good job I mean, it was fun I mean, one second what what does he mean by easel can we do we have something related to easel i don't know i'm curious mm-hmm. i think he's talking about entrepreneurship cell i guess if i'm not wrong correct abhi uh you can unmute yourself uh, actually there are a lot of teachers who are into okay. it. yeah, yeah. There, there are teachers if you are from uh, from my branch ece uh, farid the ravi sir is in charge of it uh, you might not just know that there is no club especially in it but every department there are teachers assigned for you for that mm-hmm. so <laughs> what branch are you in abhi like i think hello uh, yeah. yes i am in first year uh, computer yeah. science branch My yeah. name is Abhishek Thakur. Okay, Abhishek. So I think, as such, uh, you don't have any perfect club for that, but definitely you can make one if, like, you can gather people. I didn't know, Shoryam. There are teachers assigned for it, like. Yeah, and also. Exactly, asking... there are teachers assigned. Abhi, you can do one thing. You can consult your local guardian and just talk about it. If that local guardian is from CSE. he or she might know who is responsible for this particular thing i think so Then local guardians can, are divided you know? still yes okay okay so yeah. you can just go and talk to them local okay. guardian will be a teacher uh, from your department a teacher uh, yeah we are pune sign you can start on okay great <laughs> yeah we are good to go good to go okay so welcome to orientation of devsoc 2022 welcome to devsoc 9.0 think speak and listen so i am shoryam jain from computer science third year i'm puneet from electronics and communication third year and we will be your host for today okay. yeah okay a brief you know history check and what we are as a society we are the debating society of mvit it was established 9 years ago by our super super seniors they laid a foundation that we can never thank them enough for because devsoc has really helped us improve in a lot of way given us friends made us meet with seniors who are who have taught us a lot of things so but devsoc as a society will help you in your communication skills in your analytical skills even to think on situations in in a time span of a snap because you will have motions which you would have no clue of like you would have even not even heard of those things but then you will have to come up with your speech in 15 minutes so that you know it prepares you to prepare for something which you have no clue and just in the given time to give your best that is what devsoc is all about and people are really inclusive here it's an amazing space to be definitely punit so what do we actually do here so the society works hard to achieve the most in all areas of speech and debate now what i talk about all areas is that it is not only limited to speaking or debating on the podium or the stage or maybe the side entrance but you know it involves every aspect of your life be it talking to your family friends teachers so it actually you know gets embedded in you what i feel is you know it it helps you voice your own thoughts if you have a good communication skill if you can you know shape up your thoughts and you know you can have a good opinion about things 
then definitely the conversations that will happen will happen to a greater level and a better extent so the, what we actually focus on is how to express yourselves more right the better way of showcasing your knowledge i think let's move on to the next slide puneet uh, one thing i am pretty sure that all the juniors will be like why debsoc why debate like yeah. why i can share my opinions in the canteen i can share my opinions with someone in whatsapp i guess all, all the juniors have that question in their mind why should i come to debsoc and debate i can talk to with anyone at any place like yeah. actually that you know jiffy exactly resembles your <laughs> expression right now pretty like now i i'll answer that to you moving on to the next slide so we have uh, the solution is because the debsoc will help you develop your critical thinking now critical thinking skills are very essential in your daily life right it helps you to make uh, well reasoned arguments and it, it gives you this thing to you know question your evidence behind a particular conclusion now when you know charles puni just told you know you can you have this ability to think in the snap of finger right you are given a prep time and then that very time whatever new topic is or whatever things you actually have you'll have to discuss on and then you have to present your speech right and also reaching out to different conclusion because whenever you are in a debate you actually get to listen many people their thoughts their views on the topic and eventually you reach out to a conclusion where you can have you you'll be fighting for your stance and the other person will be putting his stance and that is a, that is actually a very friendly battle of words what i feel this is what i like about debsoc uh, moving on to the next part okay it also helps you to improve your reasoning ability to form balanced arguments coming on to the reasoning ability so in fact like uh, you might have heard you know that communication skills plays a very important role so apart from your day to day life if you want to have a proper future right you stand for interviews or there are many other competitive exams there are a lot of group discussions happening right those gds so in order to think or have that knowledge and speak for Uh, like to express yourself in a crowd that is what is very important and that skill you can pick up from debsoc and the perk the major perk what i feel is you get to represent your college in various inter college debating tournaments that right. is like the, a tournament is just an experience which you can never forget you go out to places you go out to different places as debsoc we have gone to international tournaments not just in india all around the world so we we participate in tournaments across borders we participate in tournaments in india everywhere and if covid reduces if we have a chance to go to tournaments offline just imagine the fact that you go to a new place a city where you have never been to you will have five six people from your college you guys will be having like going around the city exploring the city eating their cuisine you know just imagining that the is the different taste and talking with people exchange of ideas the amount of new people you are going to find that thing will shape you forever that is where you become a different person that is exactly the lifetime memories what i feel like you know when you interact with a lot of new people because you are kind of uh, debating with your sock in regular intervals weekly right but when you get to meet people from other sock their preparation you will face them right not staying as the frog in the puddle you jump out to the outer world and then you gain their knowledge i mean that is tremendously nice right you can you explore more about them right like the ideologies the different ideologies people have and that yeah. is what gives us power like power okay now that is so much power right so much of power in you and you know which is where we get our power from okay so there there were a lot of past tournaments that we had participated in it was ramaya college christ university rb debating forum 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 uh, like it's enough i guess you are boring the juniors that's not it's a never ending list if you keep telling them people will just say let's close this and bye bye leave <laughs> but yeah trust me like this is literally a never ending list because we have participated a lot of times i don't think many are written here right so though we have participated in many but we have achieved also a lot moving on to the next slide you can see our achievements right so if you talk about our achievements is we have been noise finalist at nls winner winners at soundarya debate india open 
contagion break at J- jlc mumbai 2016 best we were at what boring as now you know <laughs> you got carried away see there are a lot of achievements even you know we we participated in many tournaments international tournaments and it's not only that we can do it right you too can do it right we want you all to be the the per- people who increases the list of our wins our breaks and make the name of sir mbit devsop famous like everywhere everyone should know what mbit devsop is if someone says you are from mbit devsop the standard should be up there like okay punit i think you know the energy i can't see the energy i want everybody who would love, love to participate in tournaments to put a thumbs up on the chat thumbs Guys, up yes want, like anyone who wants want to represent us please please you know you have to express at least just put thumbs up and show that you want to like in the chat box guys like chat box spam the chat box spam the chat box yeah please please uh the energy i don't feel the energy but what what's what's going on this i could have had gone somewhere this sunday evening but i'm here for you guys guys we everybody put up a little you know we always you guys don't want to go outside of bangalore and you know meet with new people like Okay, yeah, we have a lot of Yahoo, so nice. Okay. Yes. So I guess we are good to go ahead. No one is sleeping. This was an energy check. <laughs> Happy that we are not boring you. Okay. So okay. talking about the format in which we debate, this is not similar to what kind of debate we used to do in school. So we will be giving you a brief introduction on how Debsoc debates. So we have two kinds of debate: Asian parliamentary debate and British parliamentary debate. and i would be explaining about this in the further slides in detail what exactly the kind of debate we do and how the process is yeah we have so before uh, we speak about before puneet will be explaining about the debate format i would like to tell that you know when we actually have the debate we usually have it after the college right of at around 4 o'clock in the side entrance two times a week right and i am personally very excited for that day i really, really wait for it now what we what happens is that there are usually two sides right one is the judging panel and then we have the speakers right so and others are the audience so the judging panel is usually the adjudges and there's a chair who's the main who leads the adjudging panel and there the motion is being given by them and the speakers are given a specific prep time right the preparation time where they can you know prepare for the motion and that is how it, it then proceeds after that uh, puni please explain the format so we have we are going to explain you today about asian parliamentary debate uh, okay. you will understand why in the when we go through the orientation so basically in asian parliamentary we will have two teams one would be the government side and the other would be the opposition so in bo- each team you will have three members so totally six speakers but three members from the government and three members from the opposition and the order okay someone has a doubt is this why someone is uh, we will take doubts at last or else you can put the doubts in the chat box i i will read the way our friends will be clearing the doubts on the chat yeah like uh, put put it up in the chat box i will just clear it out uh, if that's good so good to go i guess ha huh. so in when you come to government side you will have a prime minister a deputy prime minister and a government whip in the opposition place you will have a leader of opposition deputy leader of opposition and an opposition whip so here i will explain you what the roles of these speakers are when it comes down to prime minister he is going to be the first speaker for the whole debate so he'll come put on his case and basically explain what his case is like on on the given motion what he thinks why that motion like they you know represent that motion why they go with that motion and then the leader of opposition comes there rebuts few points of the prime minister and puts in his case that why it is not okay to do something anything relevant to the motion like if it's something like xyz why it shouldn't be xyz so that's what the leader of opposition does and then the deputy prime minister comes he is the third speaker now when he comes he is going to uh, elaborate on the topics what the prime minister has told tell us some stories some relevant stories you know give us some examples more than stories like examples to strengthen the case of the prime minister and rebut what all the leader of opposition has told like what all can be rebutted give reason and the deputy leader of opposition has the same role what the deputy prime minister has and now it comes to the whips both the whips have the same role 
so basically the whips have to come and explain to the uh, the chair, chair the people who are adjunct that why their team the government or, or like if i'm whip of the government i will tell why our points way more than the points of what opposition told how our points give more value to the society and then whip them means rebut them so that's what whip is they have to whip them whip I them so hard that whole debate of theirs is destroyed that's what a whip is you have to just whip whip them. Them. I, I can feel that energy in you you know you really whip good we have heard about it so yes so i think you know there are a lot of new words used here whip and designations i don't think that you guys will have to get confused with anything because you know these are just names and they have roles you will get to know more about it in greater sessions when you attend the sessions and you don't have to get confused it's really simple though we were also scared in our first year like when we were you know i got i was in the one i was the one who you know was scared but then later when i attended many sessions i got to know it is it isn't a big deal right you okay okay someone has a doubt if you want to unmute you can unmute and ask the doubt okay yeah you can take it out monik i guess i'm getting your name right no Span spandan do you have a doubt you have raised your hand cool my guess it's cool it's okay mistake. so continuing so yes so what exactly happens is these are the six speaker positions and uh, definitely at the end of the debate we we'll, you know the conclusion is being uh, told by the judgment or the panel so here we have for today we actually planned a mock debate for all of you this is going to be the ap debate and we have yeah, with us panel hoping hoping you guys enjoy the debate yes sure yes. go on uh, explaining yes so we have our panel that they would be edging today we have chair as yashashvi uh, please unmute yourself say hi and say hi if you there Hi guys, okay. how are you all? Hi, and then we have uh, Shreyoshri as the second member for the panel. Hi, hi. Shreyoshri and Swapnil are our adjudicators for yes. today's debate. Hi, Swapnil. Hello. We have them here. Let's meet the speakers now. So. as we told we are going to have an ap form of debate so we, i told you we will have two teams so guys here are your teams yeah yeah a big round of applause who <laughs> so yeah so the first team is shreya rishika and shrinidhi the second team is dhanush shubhangi and risha uh the first team is going to be our government for today's topic the topic is yet to be decided we have something special planned for you and the second team is going to be the opposition so all the best for both the teams because i know it's going to be a real tough debate and it's going to be a tough one to yeah as juniors that's one hell of a task so okay motion so, for today is motion for today are ah, because we have they have the power to choose the motion right because we're going to have a poll for the motion Yeah, so three motions so guys who are all excited to know the motion of today so like i am excited i'm super excited i want you guys to like spam the chats like like we 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 are excited like i am <laughs> yes okay i am i am even i am <laughs> okay so we have seen okay so let's go forward so motion for today r r r r r r guys r these here they come where did we okay yeah. these are the three motions okay so uh, me and shoryam will give you a brief uh, intake on what the motions are guys remember you guys will be the one who are going to choose the motion of yeah. what will be debated so we will tell you how to choose uh, first we will finish with the explanation of the motions so be ready and prepared because uh, the motion which you guys are most interested in is the one which will be get debated okay. so yeah keep your ears up so that you understand what the motions are so in marvel cinematic universe this house believes that thanos snap is justified considering the scenario in that timeline so basically when you say this house believes that that means the government side 
believes in that house here will be the government side because it's all debating terms i'm giving you some you know intake so here what we this motion is telling that the government believes what thanos did was good that he wiped out half of the universe is the is a good thing so this is what the first motion is first motion the second motion is this house prefers a world without facebook okay this is going to be a challenging motion because facebook the metaverse i mean you know everything is whatsapp is also you know a part of facebook right so this is going to uh, be Dinesh, we will also. take the voting at last once again yeah, we will take the voting at last once we explain all the motions right so yeah this is the motion 2 i think it's pretty said motion 3 is this house regrets the narrative that a university education leads to a better living standard so here the government is telling that we, we don't believe that a university education will lead to a better living standards yeah. even if you are not in a university you can still have a better living standard uh, are you including vt also in that police <laughs> let's not <laughs> <laughs> Let's not uh, Let's give horror not. to the juniors before they have even written their first externals. <laughs> okay. So, okay, okay. guys. So, guys, now we have all the three motions in front of you. What I want is that everybody should uh, put the numbers, right? Motion one, motion two, motion three. Just put the numbers. One, two, like three. One, the if chat. you like one, one, two, 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 three, three. The highest number of counts of which motion would be there would be chosen. You choose that motion. So everybody just spam that you have around 30 seconds. Everybody. Okay, okay. If one person, one vote. <laughs> Dinesh is like fully excited. He's like okay, one, 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 one. <laughs> No, they need to ask to count the votes also. True Marvel fan over here. <laughs> so our volunteers are counting the votes here. Guys, please, everybody who's there in the meeting, please. Yeah, I want like, there are 48 people. I guess uh, one person himself has given like 10 times vote. So I want at least 60, 70 votes. <laughs> Everybody should vote. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so the people who are joining now, I can see a lot of people join right now. Uh, please read out the motions uh, and put up your number, whichever motion you want us to debate today. Yes, please put a number one, two, three. And listen, whoever is joining now, you don't have to speak anything. You yeah. will be, they'll, they'll just you don't have to worry. You are not. We are not going to call you and tell you to speak. You guys can stay peacefully today, but. Yeah. When Enjoy. session starts, we are going to pull you to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, again, I saw three, two, three more new people. So, what we are doing right here is that we are telling all the new people to read out the three motions and select which motion you want the yeah, on. Yeah. So, I think we of them have voted. Uh, Let's see. Let's let's wait for uh, ten more seconds. Shoryam, uh, I guess we have a special guest with us. Uh, Sukesh Bhaiya, like, okay. Uh, can you come up? Open your camera. Tell everyone hi once. Yes, we would love, love to hear. From hi. Uh, one sec. Yeah, uh, guys, giving you a brief input. Uh, we are we are going to let you know which is the topic. Which is being yeah. Let's let's just decide the topic first, then we'll uh, introduce him. I guess. Hi, Sukesh. We are. We have yes. like twenty more seconds okay. to decide the motion, guys. Come on, put. Yes. So at on. least people will start their preparation time till the time we can hear from him. Uh, okay. So I think. Uh, uh, Sukesh, uh, we, we will let you speak just after the motion is uh, released. Is that cool? Yeah, we would love to hear you. Thank you. So nice to have you. Okay, so the motion. Okay, okay, guys. So the time is here. We are going to tell you which motion is being selected. Drum rolls. Yes. So any guesses? Yes, like, uh, that person who was spamming the chat. Dinesh, Dinesh Kumar. Dinesh, Dinesh Kumar. Truly really right, right. Yes, we are actually debating on motion, motion number one. Batman. Okay, so MCU fan, all Spider Man. Yes. Like, everyone like Spider Man yeah. happened right now. Can you please read out the motion once again, and we'll okay, just. Okay, so the so the okay guys, final the motion which we are going to debate on is in Marvel Cinematic Universe. This house believes that Thanos snap is justified considering the scenarios 
in that timeline. So all the best to the two teams. All From, the best. I guess all the first years are also eagerly telling you all the best and waiting for your uh, debate. So all the best. All okay. the best. So, <coughs> so let's hear from our super seniors. Yeah. So guys, we would like to call two of our super seniors, Sushma and uh, Sukesh. Sukesh, to come up on the stage. Uh, open your cameras, unmute, and interact with the juniors. Uh, if you can share some experience of that sort, how it helped you in life, how how debate tournaments were for you, because you guys have experience which we can never pass. So. Hi, Sukesh. Hey, Sushma. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, guys. I see a couple, I think I see two to three people whom I have probably debated with and talked with. I see Yashasvi, I see Kaushki, I have I have chaired some of their debates, I've had some of their debates, I've probably debated with some of them. Sukesh so has like helped me to speak for seven minutes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I would say I haven't been really, really into debating for quite a while now, probably a year and a half, but debate has done a lot of things. Like, I mean, I cannot even imagine how di how different my life would be if not for Debsock, because it's not just a club, you know, uh, once you get into it, you realize it's more of a family and that family does not leave you even if you go out of your college, if you graduate, if you get a job, because one or the other time you meet somebody, you keep in touch with people. Uh, we were, at least for me, we were part of one of the most historic batches of Debsock. Uh, we had, like, we had to, due to various reasons, uh, some of the things that were already built had to be rebuilt and some of the things which weren't rebuilt had to be built up again and that followed on with Sushma's batch where they genuinely took debating to a whole new level and then that was followed by Mansi, Tanmay and you know their batch which was like even more important in that scenario. We were just you know guiding people to nuances of basic debating and, and, and that's where everything started, by the way. Without yeah, that yeah. guidance, we would not have done what we did, and we would not have passed on what we did to our juniors. So everything started, to us at least, from you guys. So thank you for that. Yeah, for us, it started from our seniors, uh, Ayush, Anand, Surabhi, so many people. And after that, we had to rebuild due to various issues. So uh, there was lack of people, there was lack of tournaments, everything. And then then we got Sushma's back. One thing that debate has always helped me is gain perspective. So, you know, when there is, especially in today's political climate, right? Let's, let's forget everything else for a second. Today's political climate is too polarized for all of us. You are either you are either a Modi fan or you're not, a, or you are a hater of Modi. There is no in-between in today's world at all, right? Then that is just an example. You can be a fan of whatever European Union is doing and you will not be a fan of it. That's like, there is no, there is no gray area. I think debate is one thing that has brought us perspectives. So when you sit down and let's say you had to debate, I think there was one of our demo debates where we had to debate on, uh, this house believes that uh, we would want to go back in time and kill baby Hitler, right? So in that scenario, everybody would say yes. But then do you, uh, can you come back as an opposition and then think of points as to why you shouldn't kill Hitler, even though the timeline will get irreversibly screwed up and you'll end up having millions of Jews being, you know, being slaughtered, to be honest. In that scenario, what do you do? You know, and that is just some hypothetical, but there are so many points of perspectives that you get. Even today, I am pretty sure a lot of Depsock members are mostly neutral. Not many are politically right or politically left. Simply because of the fact that we do not understand the need for having a particular simple ideology, right? Because we want to learn more. We want to see a problem from everyone, from everybody's perspective. Because that is how we are, that is how it has been ingrained into us. And I think that is extremely helpful when you're dealing with people, when you're dealing with 
anything, your research, probably you go for a job interview, everything of that sort. It teaches you empathy and most importantly, debate sessions build you a bond of relationship that cannot be you know, forged any other way. It, it brings people together and makes families. And that is like the most important thing. I am so sad that a lot of, at least the current first, second years, third years, and all of those people haven't been able to attend an offline tournament because it is so important. Like when you go out of state with people, you go out with your friends, you know, you go out with people who you can connect to and there is a bond that is formed and there are things that are formed that is probably unmatchable in any ways. All of us can go to Goa and do Sunburn Festival and have fun. Fair enough. But how much is it that, what is the type of bonds you would form if you are only going out with friends or if you are going out with a couple of strangers? Depsoc is that one club amongst many clubs, obviously which brings strangers together and in the end, after four years, you will become family and even more. So that is what debate has taught to me. It has given me perspective. It has helped me out in like innumerable ways. Even me speaking to you so calmly is also because of the simple fact that I can understand what you guys are going through. So it just makes more sense that you have de you've joined this and it's amazing that you guys have joined. Thank you so much. That's thank you. So much. Uh, uh, one second, Shashma, before you start, I would want everyone who are there in the group to go back to the uh, group and start messaging that people join in because debate is going to start in the next five minutes. Yes. If you want to spam the group, like join in, join in, join in, hurry, 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 anything. I just want like some hundred messages to come up like in like one minute. I know it can happen. So I want to yes, because you know, the debate is going to be really fun and we don't, we don't want anybody to miss on that. You can invite your friends, right? And the meeting link is out. So guys, please. And yes, you. sorry. No, no, it's okay. Oh, guys, the thing is, Sukesh made my job very easy by telling everything that I wanted to say. But then he also made it equally difficult by telling everything that I wanted to say. Okay, <laughs> right? Sushma, just tell one story there. Something yeah, that's what. Offline. So the thing is, that's what Debsock does to you, right? Like even when somebody has taken all of your points, you will still find a way to get in something of yours to make sure that you are not standing on the debate floor silent, right? And that's what Debsock has taught me over the years, like over the four years that I was a part of DevSoc, it initially started with our seniors basically spoon feeding us as to what we're supposed to say, how we're supposed to think. The initial one year is where we are, you know, like they kind of put us into molds and they teach us literally how we are supposed to think in all directions. But then once that is done, once you're into DevSoc for one year, that's it. Like you are now a changed person and, oh, and you can't go back from that space. Like you can't go back to thinking, uh, you know, in, in one direction, you can't go back to not being interested in something. You can't go back to uh, a, a space wherein you're ignorant about what's happening around you. Right. Because like before I came to Depsoc, I had no interest or, uh, you know, like any kind of en enthusiasm about learning about what's happening around the world. Because I always used to think, you know, how is that relevant to me? Like, how does it matter to me if the EU is doing something? How does it matter to me if Trump is the president in America? How does the political scenario affect me or anybody around me? But then after joining DepSoc, it has changed me personally as uh, an individual as to how I used to think. I, I can now make a connection or at least a small perspective about how what anything and everything that's happening in and around me affects me. And uh, like just just that small interest about speaking about those things right e, like even if you have no idea like in today's uh, topic like the mcu and all that i'm sure so many of you are marvel fans you have uh, like e, you're really interested about how they're going to defend thanos's stance or how they're going to prove that thanos was wrong and so on but there might be like a few people here who are not so interested in the mcu or thanos right but still the debate will captivate you so it doesn't matter as to what the topic is or uh like 
what like whether you are interested in it or you're not interested in it interested in it debsock taught me one thing is that you can make a stance out of nothing and even when you have a lot to talk sometimes you will be proven wrong by how the other person has perceived it and put it out better than you and you will learn to accept that fact after a point of time and that's what sukesh was also saying right that you learn to become neutral and see things from both sides and both teams and that's how you make your stance too by uh, you know like kind of already guessing what the other person is going to say and it's all of this is just so much fun if you think about it and like anything that i say at, as of this point is just a speech to you guys right <laughs> like you have no idea i'm just saying something but once you see this debate uh, the one that's in front of you don't just see it with like don't just see it as they are debating okay see it in a way just think like what more would you have said if you were in their place or what do you think they missed what do you think the other person did better and and so on like analyze that debate a little bit like ask yourself a few questions and you will get to know if you're interested or not you will get to know whether you want to debate for the rest of your time in in mbit and i'm telling you that this has been the most beautiful part of my college journey like nothing makes me happier than the memories that i have with debsock and it kind of kept me going through college and it uh, as sukesh already mentioned it gave me a family it gave me beautiful memories it gave me things that cannot ever be taken away from me right it it changed me as a person so it is a wonderful platform for you guys and even though the times are difficult now even though it's covid your seniors are working so hard to make sure that they keep the sock alive right because for us it was comparatively so much more easy to do for us it was like we had the side entrance we had our sessions people who wanted to come can come and we had tournaments we had fun but then in today's uh, like in today's situation what your seniors are trying to do for you is very difficult to hold online sessions to hold online orientations for them to prepare so much and and make sure that all of you get this opportunity even though there is no college right because college like who cares if you are not going to college or if you're going to college and nobody knows what the scene with covid and all is going to be but they're still making sure that you have like a fun small environment where you can come and express yourself and i i really like hats off to all of you juniors you're doing like a wonderful job it is not easy and i know that so all the new second years who i haven't met i am so glad that you're taking interest and all of the third and fourth years who i have seen debate i am really proud of you guys and how you're keeping this alive in the online um uh, environment and i really hope that the first years uh, just you know give debsock a chance and I'm, it will change your uh, college years that much i can definitely assure you and how it's going to help you in the future that i'm sure they already told you and sukesh also spoke about it so i won't go into that but it's fun at the end of the day and what's more important than having fun right <laughs> so just enjoy this debate and i hope that you all join debsock and all the best to all the seniors and good job thank you thank you shushma how <clears throat> hey shushma here is one of the seniors like she was in her fourth year when i joined the sock and pratyush uh, he pratyush is our like third year leader type guy but like everyone knows from third years like shoryam kaushiki shreya everyone who are here right now from third year know that how much sushma like has helped us how friendly she is to 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 what she has like brought into the sock like we can say say how much we have seen and sushma was one person who was there in every session like every session <laughs> she was right there her presence was right there and 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 to be honest she gave all the other year people chance to speak because she knew she was in her fourth year she knew that she had to groom other people and that's the fact like we as third years look up to them because they taught us how selflessness works like you know it's not about herself in a fourth year she made sure that everyone else gets the opportunity 
so that's so nice to hear and like that's all what we feel so i guess let's uh, move on moving forward because i think there's a lot of excitement being there you know everybody wants to you know listen up to the debate that our speakers have been preparing so uh, yashashvi is the debate like uh, are we good to go the the time for prep is over i think yeah 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 guys it's the is the part where you guys will feel like that's why we need to join up so we look at these seniors we need to speak like them yes we do look up to them and bhaiya can you speak up dev have you made him the uh ha uh, bhaiya i think we can't hear from him Yeah, yeah. Guys, oh, you're muting and unmuting like it's rapidly fluttering. Yeah. Okay, so teams are here. So, uh, uh, no, can I do a attendance check once before the so, like thing starts? I will go back to the team, wala. Nice. Uh, can you listen me you now? Uh, all the teams, can you like put up a uh, you know that we are here in chat box, like Shreya, Rishika, Didi. Shrinidhi, I can yeah. see Rishika Didi. So Shreya and Shrinidhi, Shubhangi is here, Dhanush is here. So Rishabh Bhaiya is also here. Cool. Ah, uh, uh, we are waiting for. Okay, Shrinidhi is here. Shreya, is Shreya here? Hello. Yeah, she's okay. here. Everyone is here. Oh, yes, she's here. Yes, she's here. Yes, she's here. Like he's the chair, so I think we'll be handing over. to him now you know so, hi guys uh, it was uh, my was nice nice intro nice intro uh, i think sure you can uh, yeah, that's fine uh, so i'm i will be your chair for today and for this uh, opening uh, session of the orientation so we have a proposition and uh, op so i think uh, can we have a timer someone can share or something Oh yeah, sure. So I shall pause. Uh, just now, I will let you know when to begin with it. Uh, guys, uh, so as we know, we are here but for the introductory motion for today. So without much delay, uh, let me again uh, iterate the fact that uh, what is our motion? In Marvel Cinematic Universe, this house believes that Thanos snap. is justified considering the scenarios in that timeline so guys uh, please uh, cheer up and i would like to call upon the proposition prime minister to open the case yo yo hello everyone my name is shreya raj and i am from third year csc so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, today we, our house is supporting the motion this house believes that thanos snap is justified considering the scenarios in the marvel universe so let us talk about, let us know about thanos a bit thanos is pre, uh, is presented as a super villain in the marvel cinematic universe he is from the planet called titan titan was like uh, Uh, every other planet in the marvel cinematic universe but the continuous growth of population of titans led to the exploitation of their resources uh, which are important for sustainability of life so later in the story we get to know that uh, uh, because the resources are being exploited so much thanos uh, proposed that we might uh, uh, remove half of the population Uh, from the planet so that everyone can have enough food because he claimed that hey uh, uh just an interruption the timer isn't on oh, yeah okay so uh, he claimed that universe is limited and so are its resources so if if the uh, consumers of these resources are increasing continuously the resources will end one day and everyone will die so happened with the planet titan everyone died uh, and uh, nothing could be saved there thanos tried to prevent it later in, in the story we get to know that thanos is uh, uh, thanos tries to uh, 
gisanos get to know this and uh, next tries to uh, remove half of the population from whole universe in order to you know save uh, save everyone from this kind of destruction that happened in titan uh, he uh, he uh, he snap uh, he reduced the population into half in the universe by uh, by snapping the fingers uh, without any bias uh, uh, which uh, which is act, which is actually uh, without any bias which is actually uh, which is actually found uh, a good result in the planet titan uh, one minute yes uh, why is this uh, a, a good decision why is this justified to remove half of the population from the universe let us uh, talk about uh, first thing that is population explosion in today's world we uh, we see that a population is growing a, lo a lot uh, according to the logistic population model uh, in this model it is believed that population growth will increase up to a certain limit and then it will just stop increasing after a, a certain limit of 10 to uh, a certain limit of 12 11 to 12 billion people after that people cannot you know grow and they will start dying in the universe because the resources will end and it will get exploited and people uh, people will not be able to survive in uh, in the world uh, uh, which which is which will lead to total destruction of the universe but uh, if uh, the population is uh, cut into half will will get to will will we'll just get to know that the uh, resources uh, will be there available uh, like sufficient resources for everyone will be available till then and then people might be actually able to use it use the resources uh, uh, and just not uh, reach the destruction soon but they might uh, uh, reach the destructions as soon as they are reaching in the current scenario when the snap has not happened the when the population POI. is cut off we see uh, i'll take pois later in the last minute uh, when the uh, when the resources of the uh, when the resources are uh, the available there we if we see that the uh, when the population is less we see that the wage uh, the people to work in the uh, work for uh, people to work for are less and the salary could have been increased uh, also along with that the people might not be using a lot of uh, using a lot of space to occupy to uh, for living so the cost of uh, houses might reduce the fields that are used to uh, for used to uh, make food uh, to go, grow food for uh, this, that amount of people will also be reduced and th those fields can use they use for other things like cattle farming and stuff so many such things could happen uh, uh, when uh, we actually try to uh, uh, reduce the amount of people consumers that are uh, using the resources and if this is not done in the future there might be a chance that uh, people uh, are exploiting all the resources and then they might fight against each other and the rich people will take all the resources and the poor people will be left to die at least thanos here in this scenario is unbiased and is deleting people randomly from the universe but in the if this is not happened then in future there might be a case that every uh, every rich people will try to save their life uh, because they have money and poor people who have no fault of their own will just be left to die well uh, i thank the prime minister for opening up uh, Kish, I would like to call upon the leader of opposition to bring aside from their side of the case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I audible? Am I audible? 
Yeah, that's what I said. Am I audible now? Is it yes, no, sure, audible. Fine, thanks. I go in five, four, three, and two, and go. Oh, nothing happened here, to be honest, when I snapped. But when Thanos had five stones with him and he snapped, off the population ended. I'll just go to the starting of the end game movie. Uh, just as Ant come out of the time travel and he just sees the world. We could see there were empty stadiums, no baseball players. You could see there were televisions, but no news reporters. We could see street, but no people there. And that was five years after the incident. And we know that how worse was the situation five years, five years after the event. But just take a moment, what happened very next moment when Thanos snapped it. Just imagine you're in an aeroplane and not in a car where a cab driver is driving your car or a pilot is taking you somewhere. Soon as the Thanos snap, your pilot is not there. Where does your hair clash go? So that's going to be a huge violence. You're in a heart surgery hospital and you're going through that Thanos snaps, your doctor vanish. So it's not just 50% of the population which we are losing. We are going to lose more than that because of the indisturbance it's going to create among the people. Because we are just saying, yes, 50 people are going 50%. But to be honest, we are losing something more than what 50% because of the violence. Uh, not even violence, I could say the distraction what that it creates. And uh, we don't feel that uh, trusting Thanos is a very good point because he doesn't hear. The loud one is his daughter. He gave her daughter to get the stone. So... The evilness among Thanos is still alive. So you're saying that, okay, today as a 50%, what if he's going to do for the next day? So his aim was to get the monopoly over the universe. And the problem was with the Titans, not with the Earth. So doing that thing to Earth, what it really meant was uh, emotionally making a person weak. We all know when we lose the close ones among us, how hard the heart feels. But when you're losing 50% of your loved ones, friends, I don't feel that you can come out emotionally and stand and do your work really hard. The emotion aspect that's going to make into impact on a person's life because we have seen how emotional was uh, Stark uh, when he, I mean, the Iron Man when he lost the Spider Man in the game. We also, I mean, see, that's what uh, just not taking Avengers, even common man. So when they lost their family without doing any mistake to the society, I mean, not just with the Earth, there was many other planets rather, rather than Titans, they were losing people. So there was many much opposition regarding the, what the Thanos did. And I said, uh, I, uh, emotionally getting back. When we get emotionally, we can't give 100%. That's where efficiency comes into picture. So humans can't be as efficient they were before in doing some work. Just take the example of Thor. How efficient, I mean, not just take an example of Thor of doing. I know we will see how lazy the Thor has become after the incident. He used to take beer and have a fat tummy on his hand saying that, how can we call him an Avenger anymore? So people are going to go down with the efficiency because of the emotional tackle they're going to go in. So which means that uh, we are going to go into a completely unbalanced situation of living. That unbalance required a time to regain the stability. So I really feel that if this really happens, the emotion and the efficiency of human people is going to come down very badly. Okay, this is about Earth. When you take it universally, uh, the 50% population what we have heard, but not exactly know from which sector 50% is going to go. Think, imagine there are two universes having clash between them. One universe loses his king and most of his soldiers. I mean, when the other uh, universe just loses his people, uh, we are not mentioned that uh, what the 50% is going to go. So this universe got to know that universe is without king, without soldier. They overtack them. They conquer the violence which we create. Uh, just this matter of 50% of population is going to create too much, uh, too much of violence. And at last, it doesn't going to be ending as a 50% loss. It's going to create more violence. And just because of bringing the balance in Titans, we can't completely imbalance a situation in, out of the sectors. And other aspects, I mean, uh, check out if uh, we are hurt living with 50% population. If you lose a majority of your doctors, majority of the scientists, and we only left off with few of the other aspects. So uh, we are not going to get a complete balance system, what I really mean to say that. So balance system is what we all require for. So just imagine uh, the nuclear plants, uh, very good point. Uh, uh, there are many nuclear plants in and around the globe. So when they want, uh, vanish the people, if majority of the nuclear plant workers go out, we all know how nuclear is going to affect the nation, I mean the globe. So for Earth, to be honest, when we're losing 50% of the imbalanced population, it's going to hurt really bad. So I personally feel that uh, uh, we should never support that particular part. But when our government was saying that resource can be used too much, uh, see, when I'm not in the mindset of the status of status quo of using the resource, how does uh, more resource come? And 
let's not forget killing people or vanishing the people is not the solution when we have some solution we can come up with new uh, ideology and also the 50% of the population which you're killing who knows there could be an uh, other a kind of superstar now the super minded person who could give a solution for this particular aspect in the future so just keep finishing up the 50% population uh, without any innocence and also there could be many good minds in that particular so so as an opposition we are very against this particular thanos snap because we all believe that all 100% of the population throughout the universe are more required and thank you Uh, thank you, uh, Leader of Opposition, for wonderful speech. I'd like to call upon the member of the government to continue further the case side from the proposition side. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, Rishka, you are audible. Okay. So I'll begin my case. Um, so, respected chair, the basic premise that we heard from the opposition's team was that how this would eventually lead to a burden, emotional burden on humans and other forms of life because of the elimination of 50% of the population or probably it would lead to in disturbance and could, let's suppose, wipe out another 5% of the population. We are saying that even if that is the case, we are still okay with that case scenario. Reason being that if we look in the current scenario and the stethoscope, Currently, we, we see that the form of killing exists today, but it, it doesn't exist and cannot be viewed through the lens of Western media. When we talk, for, for instance, to begin our case with, when we look in the current stethoscope, where first world countries, first world countries continuously seem to exploit third world countries, are, is that and take away all the resources and would, and where there is continuous war among countries and there is loss of life. And so much more that happens when you talk about these uh, countries and mass prosecution still exists within the globe. But the only difference is that now that it is not being projected in the form of media and it is not being projected as a form of genocide, right? We tell you that this case scenario exists today and much more than today, it will exist 10, 20 years down the line when we tell you that the population would explode. And the only people who will be affected by this are the people who are from developing or underdeveloped nations or people who live below the poverty line. Because we know that usually when there's a scarcity of research, resources, usually the rich people tend to accumulate these resources for themselves, not just for their current need, but also for a generation or two ahead in advance. Right. So what resource which could have Uh, is now concentrated among these this specific section of people. And this would eventually lead to a very unbiased form of killing and genocide of people from lower status quo. Right? And we, we've seen time after time from history and examples that this has always been the case. We tell you that even when the opposition comes and tells us that Thanos' intentions were, weren't as great and his aim was to rule, we tell you that even in the even regardless of his intentions, we tell you that the outcome has always seemed to yield us a, be a better result because it was an unbiased killing. If it was a biased form of killing where overpopulation lead to a saturation and could have led to mass killing or, extin or extinction of a particular section of society, we tell you that that would be on the basis of religion, the uh, caste, your gender, and also your uh, financial statistics, right? Which would have been a far worse outcome than the current situation, right? We tell you that eventually, if this wasn't done in the course of time, it would have not led to the Earth or any form of uh, any part of the universe being stabilized. It could have potentially led to mass extinction of humans and other forms of biodiversity for no fault of their own. We tell you that it would overpopulation would have lead to results which could have never been undone, right? We tell you that we want to prevent all these things from happening. We want to promote biodiversity. We want to give the earth and the universe as a whole a time to repair and heal from all the uh, ill effects that have been done, right? And we tell you that this a form of this already exists in society where you talk about countries like Australia and India where they actively kill some section of animals in order to promote a better biodiversity because an over accumulation of one particular uh, one particular species often does much more harm than good. The only difference is that we bring we now tend to bring sentiments when human and human types of life forms are now being threatened at Thanos' uh, snap, right? And we now again see that that is another form of discrimination where you do not 
uh, where you are where you are continuously discriminating between a much more developed species to a less developed species, and that is precisely what Thanos was trying to protect. Is that you do not want to discriminate between different sections of society, whether whether it is on the basis of species or in the basis of religion, or rich or poor, and gender. And that is why we believe that his unbiased killing was justified, and it was actually needed for the benefit of society, for us to grow and flourish. Right? We've often seen that in times of turbulence and in times of uh, uncertainty that people tend to do the greatest good to society right and even if you're telling that even if they're emotionally unstable they will find out much better and much more efficient ways to live and organize their life through technology and a better and much more efficient forms of healthcare because now they have realized the importance of life and now they will bring a system which is much more cleaner which is much more green right so there will be less carbon emissions there will be much peaceful uh, countries, right? There would be less war and less fight among countries, right? And that is why we believe that his actions were justified. Thank you. Wonderful uh, speech from, uh, uh, you know, the member of uh, government, and uh, thank you, Vishka. I'd like to call upon the member of opposition to con uh, continue their their side of the case. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, am I audible? Yes, Risha, we are audible. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, I'll start now. One, two, three. Uh, uh, so hello, everyone. So we from the side opposition, we have been hearing from the government side about too many practical stuffs like how there is going to be, how in the current scenario, there is a loss of resources, there is scarcity of resources. And that's why we need some kind of balance and all. And all these practical things just sound good on while talking, but it's not practical in the real life because I'll give you one example. Suppose you're a driver of a train and the brakes of trains are not of the train are not working. Now the track of the train now splits into two different tracks and onto one track there are 10 people tied to it and on the other track there is only one person tied to the track. So according to the government's practical mentality I'll eventually choose to kill the I think the timer is not on. I'll Uh, so, according to the government's practical mentality, I'll choose to kill the those, I'll choose to save those 10 people over that one particular person. But what if that one particular person is some of my loved ones, like my mom or my dad? I'll definitely choose to kill those 10 people, right? So that's what we are trying to prove here. Humans life, human lives are not just points on charts or numbers on a graph table. Human lives hold some emotional values. And that's why we, we cannot just suddenly choose to wipe out half of the population of this planet just because we have to do some kind of practical stuff right because we believe that even if you wipe out 50% uh, of the population the persons remaining behind who are left behind they will go into such a great scale of trauma that the rest of the life will be uh, kind of practically unbearable for them and that's why we believe that this is not practical at all because the emotional burden which will yeah. be on the uh, i'll take it later the emotional burden which will come up on the left or left population of the people is far more great than what are the benefits the people are the government side is showing over here and we can also see that the the life span and the life trajectory of a human is kind of different from other uh, living organisms right for example uh, if you kill a child or if you had killed Abdul Kalam in his childhood only, you would have not seen uh, some great innovations which happened by him in the future. Or if you if you would have killed uh, Vikram Sarabhai, uh, I think today Isro would have wouldn't have been there. So that's why if you are suddenly wiping out half of the population of this planet, you are actually killing 50 percent, or you are actually killing the possibility of having some great minds who could have come, who could have grown in the future to solve this scarcity of resources of the problem of scarcity of resources and that's why i believe that you cannot just simply wipe out half the population and also when the so right now the burden of the government is to prove that how there won't be better chaos there there won't be even higher chaos when the snap happens because from my previous speakers we have already proven that when uh, because of this snap there will be high it will the because of the snap it will result into highly inefficient uh, services by the people because the people will already be in will already be under the burden of emotional stress and also uh, for example if somehow 
Uh, from one planet, a greater, uh, I'll take it later, ma'am, uh, a greater part of population has been wiped out. The other planet can try to impose his dominance or its dominance onto the onto the other planet and try to overtake that planet because because for example why you are going so far into some other planet let's take the part of earth there are so many countries as already given the example by the uh, by rishika that that there are third world countries there are first world countries and first world countries want to overtake the third world countries so for example uh, somehow most of the population of a third world country gets wiped out and the first world country is still there the first world country will definitely go on to the third world country and actually capture all of its remaining resources and all of its people right because it wasn't stated that 50 percent from every country will get wiped out it can happen that 100 percent of a particular country gets wiped out so that is a problem and one great example i uh, which came from the audience i think her name was brinda uh, balakrishna that 50 percent of uh, plants and animals will also get wiped out, right? So because of that, there will be a huge uh, ecological imbalance created in the society. And we have seen, and we know that there is a food cycle and chain, right? Uh, in in the I, I'll take it, I'll take it. In the in in the animals, so suddenly there will be a huge imbalance, ecological imbalance. And when Rishika came here and said that less carbon emission will happen, I come here and say that there will be less number of trees also to tackle those carbon emissions, right? So there is no point and there is no practicality saying that less carbon emission will happen and it will somehow lead into a better world. So that's why we believe that there is no point in wiping out 50% of the population rather than if you will keep the 50% population, they will actually eventually may grow in the future, may grow in future and try to contribute more towards science and may eventually even find a way to solve this scarcity of resource problem. Like I gave the example of so many scientists and there is a possibility that if there is a ch child out there who could grow uh, who could grow in future and turn out to be a great scientist and eventually he will solve all the problems and people will eventually prove to be more happier in our case scenario there will be a greater quotient of happiness in the society and that's why we feel that our uh, side of the house has a better better points for the motion thank you thank you rishab uh, for presenting your side of the case uh, now let's like call upon the curve to summarize the case on proposition side yeah 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 go ahead yeah, am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, Rene, you are loud. Oh, just give me a minute. I'll be sure, sure, sure. When you are ready, just tell them five seconds or something. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go. Uh, hello. Good evening, my fellow debaters, chair, and the uh, new the freshers and the first and second years here. Hello. The motion today says that in MCU, this house would believe that Thanos' snap is justified considering the scenarios in that timeline. I feel like there is some kind of confusion or mis mis misinterpretation that's going on. And from the from in the government side, they tend to believe that the whole entire living population that is from a archaea or a bacteria to a tree would be wiped out. Because to be honest, Thanos' snap would wipe out half of the population. And regardless of it not being mentioned which population it is, it is okay to assume it is human population because they were the ones who were wiped out. Thanos never said that he'll wipe out the entire living mass to 50%. He'll reduce entire living mass to 50%. All right. Uh, solving that confusion out. Okay. To be honest, the government here thinks that uh, staying here and actually uh, trying to solve the problem of lack of resources is actually beneficial. So th by this, we can actually conclude that even they are on the same page when we say the resources are depleting and resources are, aren't enough, even the government in the, I'm sorry, even the opposition is actually agreeing it upon it, that they, they are telling we'll try to find new resources. That is entirely wrong because you can never create new resources staying in the same planet. It's like, plowing the same field over and over again, just so the hoping that it would give you more yield in the form of agriculture. That's not going to happen. It can give enough amount of yield unless and until its fertility is gone. 
our government is telling the same when you have 7.8 billion people living on this planet a planet that can actually accommodate only up to around 10 billion people and the resources after that would be tremendously affecting all uh, living organisms it is it's honestly I, I don't even understand what they are coming up with to support that kind of a massive population on this planet on the on a tiny planet like this to accommodate 10 billion people and the major major stake that they are considering is basically the emotion i mean aren't you sure that we're all going to die one day and you have to suffer the loss of your loved one today or 50 years from now or i don't know when it's going to happen but it's going to happen it's not going to live forever right thanos is just doing it now you will experience it today or tomorrow and also when you talk about a generation of people suffering due through due to that emotional loss you're only considering that one generation we as a government we are considering the whole human the whole humanity the whole race that one generation will have some emotional barriers to deal about okay fine but the forthcoming generation will thrive the human population will thrive that's what we are agreeing upon that's what our juniors also want that's the reason they chose this motion and also when talking about uh, too many uh, practical stuff yes the reason we have to talk about too many practical stuff is because they haven't been spoken all these years the extinction has been accelerated by thousand times anyone from the juniors who's taken pcmb would have learned about ribet popper hypotheses and key species of an ecosystem that have to be in balance when you have 10 billion people you cannot have the balance and it's honestly stupid I'm sorry. And it's on it's honestly impossible to actually manage the ecosystem in perfect balance. To quote uh, Thanos, a perfectly perfectly balanced as all things should be. This is what he was going about. He wasn't just he wasn't a lunatic who was trying to kill half of the people because he was a psychotic man. He was trying to go to a perfectly balanced ecosystem as all things should be. The inevitable should happen. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. Yes, we do not have that will. That's the reason we kill only animals. We are cowards who can only kill animals but cannot kill another human being without any bias. And hence, we think a god like Thanos, who is actually a god according to Marvel Cinematic Universe, is needed at this moment because we are not capable of doing it on our own because of our emotions, because of our evolutionary ideologies that are imbibed into our genetics, etc. And hence, we as a government believe that we need Thanos' snap Maybe I'm not sure if I'm going to survive or you're going to survive. There's a website that you can look into it if I can survive Thanos' snap. But still, we can sacrifice our lives for Thanos' snap to restore the balance that has been gone for more than half a century through industrial revolution and all those human greed. And if the opposition thinks they are okay with this human greed, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. A wonderful speech by Srinidhi closing, I mean, government. So I'd like to call upon the opposition to conclude their side of the case. Yayo. Yeah, yeah. Hello, am I audible? Yes, Shubhangi, loud and clear. Okay, give me a minute, I'll start. Sure. Okay, so a very good afternoon to everyone present here we from the side opposition still believe that thanos snap even considering all the given scenarios in the mcu is not justified right because as thanos himself calls himself a madman i do not think actions of a madman like him can be justified in any way whatsoever P-O-I? And i'll take i'll take the uh, view in the last minute uh, guys, and uh, timer Uh, guys, timer who is managing timer? Yeah, Shivangi, are good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so I do not think the actions of Thanos, the madman, can be justified in any way whatsoever, right? And second, I do not get his math. How did he come up with, oh, 50% population gone, suddenly resources are enough, right? He could have chosen 10%, 25%. His math did not make any sense to me. So how did he just come up with 50%, right? Okay, leaving all of that aside, uh, the major points of argument that I found from the side government was one, population explosion, two, discrimination and Thanos was unbiased in wiping out the population because he used math, the math that I do not understand. 
and also to restore balance right i mean if thanos was that powerful and he had the stones and he really wanted to do something for the planet and look after population explosion and all of that he could have snapped and created another planet or created more resources right and one more thing that we need to really realize over here and ponder over is that the lack of good living standard is not just because of a lack of resources right it is because of various other factors as well right so even if 50% of the population is wiped out there is still a high probability that what thanos was trying to achieve will not be achieved in fact it will lead to more chaos and sadness in the world as we saw in end game and as explained by my fellow members in the team opposition right that the most important resource that the earth has or any planet has are its living beings right are is the human resource because humans have the intellect to capitalize on other resources to invest in other resources and make them valuable right what the what side opposition was trying to tell was not that we will suddenly come and create new resources but we can harvest and come up with better technology to harvest those resources right if stark industries could make the arc reactor and make their entire building sustainable and self powered right i am pretty sure over a period of time he could have made resources available to everyone right and at the end of the day after the snap my poor little uh, spider man was gone right didn't you all look at how badly thought the god was depressed right he had a pot belly because of beer so i do not see any good effects post the snap you can only and only see Uh, the ill effects of the snap right so whatever thanos was trying to achieve was clearly not achieved and therefore his actions are not justified in any way whatsoever right second thing uh, the population explosion and earth can only uh, contain so many people we need to look into how uh, when we are talking about the marvel cinematic universe the place where this debate is based on it's not just based out of earth right there are other universes that we take into consideration there is asgard they had so much of technology in place hell they had gods with them they could have done anything right they could have all used their combined powers to help save the environment to help rebuild the resources from scratch right because again they are gods maybe we humans aren't maybe tony stark could do it but god probably could have done it and then we believe I, i'll take the pi in the last minute and therefore we believe his again his snap was not justified right killing somebody for what so ever reason is not justified and 50% of the population uh, not in any way now the side opposition has already given you reasons why but i will reiterate them to make it a little bit more clearer right one as told by them a uh, we do not know who will be wiped out right and if you if thanos was trying to create any form of peace or harmony that would not happen because uh, there would there might be an ongoing war in two planets that we do not know about that mcu hasn't talked about snap uh, uh, half of the population is gone but the war is still on the leader of one planet is dead the leader of one planet is alive and now the other planet needs to suffer right there might be uh, scenarios where there were possibilities of you know people coming up with better ideas people coming up with better solutions that would have made them happier but in this case all the snap did was bring earth back to point zero and now we have to rebuild the earth from the beginning along with carrying the emotional burden of losing your loved ones let me also how tony stark changed in end game right he wasn't the sassy man that we knew he was now more concerned more Uh, more to himself than he was in the previous movies right he wasn't the iron man that we knew that we saw in the first movie right he wasn't the playboy tycoon businessman that we knew of so the snap had a lot of ill effects it did not bring in any good uh, it did not have any good rhyme or reason other than the fact that thanos wanted to prove how powerful he was and how his a uh, one minded single solution was the solution to all problems and that he was in fact the madman god right so his actions cannot be justified his actions in fact need to be debated upon more right population explosion can happen in fact this whole a uh, snapping will the cycle will just continue repeating right it's not that his one snap and suddenly 10 years later population will not explode right not 10 years a 10 de- 10 decades later population is not exploding right population is exploding but we do not know if we will be able to reach the same level of technology and advancement that we have reached in this particular stage and with that i would like to conclude my speech thank you uh wonderful you know closure from side opposition well guys uh maybe virtual sh- shakans or virtual you know cross floor shakans it's fine so guys uh we need around 5 10 minutes for deliberation and then we will come up with the uh,
the you know the judgment sure i'm up to you yes sure thank you ishu uh, it was a wonderful before, debate uh, yeah go on puneet uh, th- like I, i guess it it's an amazing debate uh, before we uh, we actually want all the juniors to unmute yourself and you know uh, talk about the debate but before that we want 15 seconds of time like till 4 o'clock we have few of our past like seniors who have done a lot for the sock are here so we would like to call them shoryam oh. can you name them yeah. out like, uh, they can tell uh, please uh, invite them I would like you to call them yeah so like uh you have like met uh, almost all the seniors like from fourth year from third year but like there are like a lot of people who were not in this group and they join later so i would like to introduce to you to mansi di and tanmay di like they join later like they have been such a great support and such a great you know mentor to us like they are in fourth year we, we are in third year like they have like Kaushiki, supported even us and even like the they are actually the reason like like the all the fourth year seniors that they are actually the reason that we are able to you know like you are seeing us speak in such confidence and you know talking about debate so uh, mansi di and tanmay di please can you just say hi you uh, kaushiki diksha is also here call diksha hi. oh hi. Uh, okay and like we also have a super super like senior diksha di uh, like she is one of the most sweet person you will ever meet and when you talk about debate like she is always on so uh, hi everyone so diksha di mansi di tanmay di can you please just say like everybody say hi to them Hi, hi, buddy. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. And yeah, and rest you have all already met Shivangi Di, Rishika Di, Shivashi Di, Rishabh Bhaiya, Yashashi Bhaiya. Like interact with the juniors. Yeah. So now up to you, oh. Shoyam and Puneet. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Guys, so we saw a lot of response on chat box. Shoyam, sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Puneet. I can see that you know excitement to talk to your juniors. So it's it's pretty fine. You can continue the eating. Uh, <laughs> until that time, we want to love to hear from our juniors. Like you know, they they were actually you know putting up their thoughts in the chat, and I loved that you know. And so guys, who ever messaged in the chat box, just unmute yourself and boom, go. Yes. Guys. please please unmute yourself and whatever your views was about the debate and what do you think who will win the debate and what are your if you want want you know add on some points or you like some point you are free to you know speak up right now like guys i saw a lot of response so please free free, free to I'll, unmute yourself and start taking me your point out because i want these people to speak right it's been a long time we have been trying puneet Yeah, like Jatin, like you have written like a big message. Like, come on, yes. man, unmute yourself, speak. Hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What What was your point? Just uh, introduce yourself. Uh, tell about your views about the debate and all. I am Jatin. Uh, I'm first year in CSC. Okay, that's great. Continue. when i when i start when i started listening this debate i was just uh, in uh, not in favor of government team but after listening this debate i was just my mind has changed fully changed to government team and uh, i support them full support to my 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 support is full to government team okay now that's you know i i love this thank you jatin for speaking up you know because thank sometimes you, you have uh, a shaped your opinion to somebody you know some maybe like he was towards the opposition and then you know it completely changed why you actually conclude you want to add on something jatin or we should move on to somebody else your point of view jatin anything what you would have told what if you, you were there above all bhaiya i have written uh, the points that i have to add and to tell, just tell it out tell it out i we uh, that's all here we want people to talk no right talk so uh, uh, the points that i want to share that uh, in eternal movies it was clear that if the snap was not occurred 
than almost all earth will destroyed by eternals but due to the gap of five year there was some change in hearts of eternals that save our whole universe and earth so i just said the snap had done a great thing in mcu in changing uh, and there were many uh, uh, there were many developments also had uh, in uh, that five years as we have seen uh, avengers tower the uh, all, uh, all the all the nations were now together in that five years so uh, before five years nobody uh, no president and uh, other countries president were talking uh, with others but after uh, but in between the five years the everything changed people are coming together and they were uh, making a uh, uh, their own uh, uh, they were making their own uh, force and i they were um, uh, any problem like, to us like coming the bad times makes everyone to join forces and yes you know, yes in together. one force and, and they were just solving problems by uh, uh, sharing their own thoughts not by Uh, mm-hmm. like uh, india and pakistan were fighting but not uh, then five years they were both together and just uh, have uh, more development the in their course. countries yeah, and picture. more development were happened in five years so i was that that have changed mcu at totally a different level so i was in support of uh, uh, thanos snap definitely jatin thank you for sharing your views and like i would really appreciate jatin that you know he unmuted himself and spoke up like that kind of confidence we want guys like everybody so beautiful that. point i wish you were yeah. in the team <laughs> okay so now another fellow speaker jatin already getting fans here jatin you you making me mad as a your demand and demand which everyone wants in the team now okay so i also thank saw you, yeah. uh, vrinda and yashwant anybody of you can, you can unmute yourself and speak up what are your views yeah can i speak no yes uh, yeah sure yashwant i i am yashwant from isc information science and yeah. uh, i had covid in the past one week and i was sitting in my home and just watching mcu movies again and again and i should have only watched uh, eternals again on this plus yeah i was just thinking on that topic yesterday and uh, so i made some points regarding oppo- opposing this uh, uh, debate like i was i, I, I am ag- against thanos okay uh, yeah just tell tell my points now uh, yes, erasing people was debatable uh, debatable but what about the animals and other endangered species okay i can agree that humans are over- overpopulated but i i don't think that uh, tigers are over, 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 over populated in our in our country uh, uh, yesterday only i read an article that uh, in bandipur uh, national park there are some 25 tigers or so all all of karnataka you can just see 500 and madhya pradesh 500 and what did they do what did the are they exploiting the resources and even we know that the tanos did not only erase only people he erased all the birds he erased all the animals and every every other life forms uh, every other fauna so that was the point and uh, uh, we can also just think that every resource is not concentrated uh, in uh, to every people it's just concentrated mainly some of on, on some of the companies and some of the rich guys okay and uh, th- those poor guys who don't they don't deserve uh, deserve that uh, er- erasing of the population okay and next uh, oh, thanos I I think that Thanos was just enjoying the power of stones in his hands and not just he was I, I didn't, he didn't have any reason to erase all the population uh, and uh, even uh, maybe maybe uh, Thanos with those stones could have come up with better ideas to just deal with this resource stuff and not only by erasing the population with that uh, of, uh, six stones he could have done way better than erasing the population. and uh, education maybe education could have solved the problem i think and uh, with the, uh, but then yes one yes one as i said my team yes one yes one i have one question thanos yeah, yeah, planet really destroyed because of over population if it happens yeah. in your planet what do you think you would do like because of over population your own planet got destroyed so now you want to save other races what would your approach be uh i don't I, I, maybe i don't have any ideas now at least 
but i don't think even thanos was also uh, was just he, he was right i don't agree with that also okay maybe i don't have any ideas now present at, i didn't uh, think on that but maybe we can come up with better ideas not not by just erasing the whole population of 50% i don't know how thanos got the 50% ideas i don't know if he know the permutation or combination what did i don't know 50% he just arrived at, at that back, point no? Yes, yes, and time is a fact, na. No? What if if you keep thinking, you keep thinking, and then one more planet is also gone. Unit, I know plan- you're really curious about debating. You wanted to speak today, right? No, don't don't take that revenge from juniors and scare them off. Okay, please. I I totally okay. agree, Yashwant. Yeah. So you want to add on something? Yashwant, yes, Yashwant, I wasn't scaring you. I just yeah, I was scaring you. Chat on point. That one, that one is the last point. I already told it in chat. You want to repeat me? Yeah, yeah, tell me. You are not afraid afraid of me now. These people will bully me later. Then, bro, you just scared. Of not like that, bro. bro. I came to this uh, what uh, this club only just express my perspective. If I want to express my perspective, I don't want to be feel afraid of you now. That's not the way, Ashwan. That's the support Shivangi is giving him from the past. Join my team, bro. I'm not going to join my team. Shivangi is just like support, <laughs> support, support. And you know, you, you get the answer to all his rebuttals while you know that prep time. You know that prep time that we have for our debate. You you get ideas from nowhere. You know, I don't know from where you get ideas, but in that very prep time, you prepare yourself in such a way that you go on speaking and speaking, right? Like everybody. Debaters from Debsock will know that, right? That is a very important fun time too. So, uh, thank you, Yashwan. So, let's move on to somebody else uh, who wants to express their views. And I think it was uh, Brinda or anybody else who wants to, you know, say about the debate today. Yeah, we would like one more junior to come up. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Brinda. Hi. Yeah, you can go. On. So, I, I don't, I'm not really prepared for this conversation, but I just wanted to add one tiny point. in the beginning of end game uh steve had mentioned to natasha that he had seen a part of wales on the way to work so it wasn't entirely bad and no one really mentioned that so i just thought i'll say it hello okay you got the point but then but then someone here just told that half of the animals also died so half of the wales also died <laughs> 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 Someone I, just came up with a nice point. Hey, I guess like yeah. I, I guess the point after reading I, Brinda's comment. I should have prepared. Hey, I clarified that. I clarified that. Hello, I want to add one point. I also I want to add one point also. Oh, go on, go on. Guys. The animals point as everybody saying half of population was uh, animals died as he mentioned that there were twenty five tigers something that. So I want to add that when Spider Man was died uh, and uh, the. Uh, Iron Man was in uh, Tony Stark is uh, would uh, great uh, depression. Now he have created his own family, but he left in uh, in the world. He have created his own family. He have now daughter, and he was not uh, giving up uh, on his daughter. And he said that when we have to do re snap, we have to only recall uh, the people who were died. So same as twenty uh, five uh, tigers, they uh, that uh, could be twenty five thousand tigers now because there were more space now. there uh, there were proper resources for them so this we this was a good thing for uh, uh, after snap uh, uh, that can be a great thing for the tigers also their population would be growth uh, okay that's my no. point okay thank you jatin for the point uh, kushal you can unmute yourself you would love to have this friendly debate you know this and i love this environment right i, I have one that. more thing yeah Okay, so in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we we saw that there were no divisions, and like the whole you the whole world was unified, right? So, and now that everyone is back, uh, the Flag Smashers they they weren't very pleased with that. So now it's it's the government is still breaking. So. Got your point. Like full deep MCU fans are coming out. <laughs> Soldier, one old movie. I'm liking that, Brinda. <laughs> Hello. I'm getting to know more MCU fans out there. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, put in your numbers now. Kushagr, can you come on stage? Vishal, can you yeah, like sure. put in your number there so that after Kushagr, Piyush will speak and then you can come in. Yeah. 
so my point was like how is it justified justified killing people aren't we doing development why are we doing even engineering my point is that we are learning to build systems that are sustainable that are sustainable enough to sustain us as a human we are literally growing plants on space aren't we expanding our universe ourselves aren't we expanding this join earth join my team join my team. Huh? join my team team opposition okay team up opposition i join okay so should i write like uh what should i write in chat okay sorry so we, my point is like we are doing engineering and we are learning to have a system that is sustainable and we are de- debating over a topic that we should kill people <laughs> and that to human population killing 50% of human population itself is a big threat threat to humans human are okay. such a dangerous dangerous species not if a, you kill uh, your if, if you kill someone strange don't make us let me tell you this. let me tell you this one thing please just one point <laughs> if you kill someone's friend if you kill someone's brother sister father they will get mad they will kill people like people can get mad on small things and you are talking about killing 50% of population just imagine what would be the mental condition of the 50% of population left will they survive on themselves yeah. will human population, population. Isn't, isn't it that human population can go on extinct because of this fact that 50% of people died so i don't think so thanos became mad and angry that his planet titan was destroyed and he was sad and he wanted to take revenge and that's why he wiped out 50% yeah. of the population exactly <laughs> What is this conspiracy theory, Shivangi? What is so this? So this this will destroy the universe itself. Like then the people here will destroy other universes, and universe will destroy universe itself. The Everything will go in nothingness. If you have seen Naruto, the world should know pain. Yeah, the world should know pain. But what is the solution for that? That Naruto gave. You should understand other pains, being in part of their pain. and not being against their pain just to generate pain like okay, you say okay, we have the yeah. results so sorry oh, but then yeah. we have but i want to add video. something i want to add something but in in naruto also naruto also the old the people were came together when the death were increasing when he uh, uh, re but jutsu was happened so the people were killing at a uh, at a big uh, big amount then the old forces what came together so there also after killing uh, happened uh, after killing all the stuff was happened great war got it great war we we have so much potential debaters from here oh my god i feel sad that many people put in numbers and we, we will take you after the results yeah. like for we sure take you after the results okay so before the results are out before yashashvi uh, comes and tells the result uh, any guesses for the results I want uh, the next one. Watch out! If it's GOV, okay. it's right GOV. If it's OP, right OOP. OP and GV, government or opposition. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay. We can see so many people here. Bro, Pratyush told opposition. So now <laughs> favor is on all. Result. Results are already decided. I I think this this man. <laughs> now if we don't win, no, that's all. Pratyush told opposition. Now the pressure is on the chair. Yeah, Pratyush is third year lead adjudicator. Please. <laughs> yes, Ashwin. Okay, now the pressure so, is on you. Yes, Ashwin. Yes, 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 we want uh, you to you know tell us about the result and how did you read out the conclusion of your panel? Whatever you want to talk about, over to you. Yeah, Shashwi is not able to use his mic. Uh, okay, so somebody more. from the panel, if uh, possible, uh, Shreyoshi or Swapnil, uh, just check on or like. Hello. I guess yes, Shashwi Pillai is on host. Uh, yes, Shashwi, try once and we can. Or he's joining if possible. Okay, so we uh, should wait for him. We we can definitely wait for him. So. Till that time, should yeah, be like can wait for two minutes. Okay, new yeah. people, new people. Time. I don't want the old people to talk now. I'm checking for the number. Vishal, someone called Vishal. Yush was oh, next. Yush was next. Yush, Yush Raj was next. I guess Vishal already had spoken. 
Piyush, uh, yeah, Piyush, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, uh, can, can you hear me? Like, yeah, definitely yes. can. Yeah. Yeah, so my point is, okay, like Thanos snapped his fingers and like wiped out 50% of the population. Like what about the rest? We get to know that he decimated Xander for that one power stone. 100% of Xander was decimated for it. What was their fault? They were just guarding it. We know what Ronin did with it. With it. Ronin, sorry. Ronin did with it. We know like what it actually was. And just for guarding it, like 100% of Xander was decimated. Even nowhere was decimated for it. What was their fault? Yeah, I feel you, bro. And and even you know, like just for his lust for power, even he killed Gamora, his own daughter. That was one thing. I would say for his vision, not lust for power. He never wanted to be the king. It, he just wanted it clearly his was. When did he become the king? After snapping everyone, he went to a uh, went to an isolated planet and was doing farming. So he, he had no use, na. After after uh, after destroying the entire like universe, after destroying fifty percent of the universe, he had nowhere else to go. So he just went to his retirement home. Uh, he his he never wanted to be a king. His vision never told that he wanted to be a king. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm okay, sorry. yes. Uh, it was a good debate. Okay, so yes, 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 yes. So guys, uh. Yes. Well, I think I heard most of your opinions slash, uh, you know, verdicts. Directly. So first, let me clear out how this uh, debate went throughout from starting. Just a minute. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so guys, uh, yeah. Let me, uh, you know, take you the glimpse what we found while we you know discussed this body right so we found two different narratives based on some uh, you know uh, easy uh, you know based on how or why that snap was justified right two things were clear uh, guys uh, I just Two things were clear from the, uh, you know, uh, from the uh, curve and offside. One, humanity sh should sustain or should progress or it should continue the essence which it had before or it is having right now, right? Three, and how it's gonna take it, right? How this snap is gonna do better to the society, right? Or take it as a case of human human resource or to the species or consider the fact that how it's going to benefit as a whole for the people right there before the snap or after this right you know when we you know go through the gov side it says you know yeah uh, you know we have burden of population we have discriminatory going on you know there are people harassing uh, you know poor strata and there are people in higher strata are going to take care and they are you know continuing continuing this atrocities on on the upside it was clear they uh, did give me the fact that you know ye, ye hai gai, ye, either it was a uh, snap or after snap the where i get uh, shubangish uh, uh, you know example where two uh, planets are fighting and even if one planet's king is dead the other planet's king may oppress the other that was a clear cut example why you know, the whole scenario will definitely sustain, the fights will sustain, or the uh, conditions which were uh, before the, uh, uh, you know, snap or after the snap will sustain, right? Let me clear it out as my decision. It's a one point margin. I think it's just one point margin, or you can say a one point made a whole difference, or one point in explaining from one side made a whole difference to the case or it have been definitely their case, right? So why would have been their case would be, uh, you know, I will tell you in later part or as a uh, example, how they could have been the case, right? So guys, uh, op takes the case by one point margin, only one point margin. And that one point margin, it's a huge, because I did know oh, that was a clear uh, you know, basis. Uh, it's not because I saw some wrote op, 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 we discuss it uh, further. Uh, to be clear with you all, uh, you can 
can just uh, again, again if you want to just cross check so let me tell you where that one point margin took uh, you know uh, for the opposition right <laughs> okay. so you know tell me when as a government when you come up two things should be cleared right in a hypo cases right one you want to make sure what environment you are going to give us two what are the definitions we have to continue right there were slight errors from the off side i mean on the gulf side which we were tried to build right or which uh, which we tried to make sure to connect the both the cases right and that slight error made us to give uh, you know uh, to the off side okay yeah and uh, you know there were some brilliant points from the uh, gulf web and which made uh, you know their case more strong and rishika's point of view how it uh, you know uh, defending the uh, resources and you know shreya's starting unbiased uh, uh, aspect of how killing or uh, murder is totally a solution or you can say a snap is his only solution gave a perspective but they lacked only one point that clarity of environment which you want to give that clarity you know they exploited from the opposition side right they took a chance they took as if uh, you know uh, took uh, you know that a uh, loophole for the op case where they did justify by telling ki you know yeah yeah hoga this these are the aspects like you know ecology imbalance or you can say what species or at what point of the living organisms you are considering as human beings or other living organisms right where uh, i think it was rishabh's case where he said 50% of ecology will de definitely uh, destroy right or they no trees at all or carbon emissions at all right or their the opposition's case a uh, point of view gave me more practical aspect kya ho sakta hai after this now or at this point of this now and the gov ka gave me a clear cut example how at longer run we can have a better life right and when i compare both of both the scenarios i have a short term imbalance and a long term gain and a short term uh, imbalance and a long term gain at a little half right at when i compare this two there are a logical aspect is present more on the op side that is the reason they take on the uh, op side so i did follow a moral principle of taking assertion and assertion a proper reason and proper example to their points did justified how this case or this point did stand and if you have any problem or any deliberation we can have guys anything or you want me to explain amazing <clears throat> like i guess yashasvi our chair didn't leave any stone unturned on explaining why the opposition really won he went into detail like no one should even have a, like one ounce of doubt that why exactly the opposition won that is how amazing his observative skills are and this is another part of depth talk this actually part of the club is effort of the panel right so we are usually hand swap and i everybody this is their club decision that i wanted to just say so basically this is the other side of depth sock where you you improve your listening skill your observatory skill where your reasoning improves see see now when you are there as a, a chair in the panel you cannot predefine your mind that oh now if 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 yashasvi shreyoshi and swapnil you know believe that okay thanos snapping was really good they cannot sit there and think that and then judge people they have to keep their minds open so this is the other part of depth sock which i think is is we wanted to show you clearly you know you don't have to have a preset thought right as puneet said because you have to give your mind open and take the, both the sides of the story and the major thing that is involved here is i guess listening right we were so you know telling about expressing yourself so expressing yourself in form of listening also right it's not only about speaking guys so if you are an edge the more you listen the more you know depth your uh, reasoning and knowledge can become so thank you for the amazing panel that we had today and thank you for all the speakers and i guess i uh, clap for the opposition because they did a behind where are some pictures which this this picture is basically 
from our own tournament we at sir mvit had conducted a parliamentary debate which i guess like i guess shreyas is crying already uh, <laughs> memories like the, uh, not us not my batch i will say our seniors did put in a lot of efforts we were just the runners we we were just helping them out but these seniors like they created the first ever smvit pd tournament and this team this picture has a lot of hearts hopefully we can redo this hopefully we can like i i am very you know excited seeing those t-shirts when you you know representing the club and that that unity i i literally like that kind of vibe so uh, some pictures of our tournaments like these yeah, are offline tournaments which we have gone to and pictures taken back then uh like it, it's it's like a family that's it like some competition the one these are like few pictures we wanted you people to see so that you can really understand what depsock brings in and you know just something to put a, a smile on our seniors also because surely it did on our faces when we were creating the memory part of the slide yeah. so let's move on okay so it's, it's just the organizer thing so we had uh, rishika pratyush shoryam puneet kaushik shreya dev dhanush like we've been working and there are so many names like that are not mentioned here we've been working this is a club effort for the orientation that we brought there were people who were handling social media there were people who were making the ppts and coordinating managing things so we are grateful to everybody Uh, who is here and you know we try to make this event this orientation a, a good success like claps to everybody and i would like uh, one of us to take a, a you know picture you know uh, like we always do after the orientations and we one more thing uh, thank you to all the uh, people who came up and spoke for the debate you know spend their time uh, people in the chair who came and you know as the debate tournament we really appreciate your valuable time and Speaker. thank you for all the juniors to come like to come to the orientation because it would have meant no meaning if you people were not there so like a big <laughs> thank you for all the juniors who are here because we did this for you and it, it was really amazing that we had such a good crowd yes yeah, stop sharing the scene and we can have everybody in the picture and juniors and everybody was there in the meeting i would want them to you know open up their cameras I so, just wanted to show the thank you screen. I'm like finish it. One and last also, screen, that was also should show. And also, and we want to end uh, this meeting by uh, like we have Diksha Di, Tanmay Di, Mansi Di, Vishwa Bhai also here. Can you guys please come up and talk, like share your experience? Yeah. Like Dik Diksha Di. Diksha first. Bisha, go go! Come on! She has always been waiting first. for you guys to tell. Aka, you come first. on! <clears throat> But um, I guys, uh, hi guys! I'm kind of down with COVID. I'm just here to listen, like I always do. I love watching, and I'm I'm doing the same event today. Uh, good done. job, guys! Good job with the orientation, uh, and I hope all the juniors enjoy being a part of this club, like I did back then. Um, it's a place where you can learn a lot. You can grow a lot. So do make sure to participate. um actively that's all and all the best to all of you see you guys soon thank you so much we love you diksha take care please get well soon get well soon get well soon, get well soon. Get well soon. Get well soon. thank you thank yeah. you guys thank a lot manji di aur tanmay di vishwa bhaiya please vishwa ko One me. Yeah, we're doing yeah. something. In the ad box, you were typing so much. I saw. Uh, Depsag actually changed me a lot. Like I couldn't speak shit. Not in front of people. Not in front of maybe even like three people. But if I'm able to speak here today in front of so many people, it's definitely because of Depsag. And it also makes me regret my whole life because. I haven't turned up to sessions after lockdown, and I really hate that. I missed it a lot, and this was really nice. Thank you.
we miss the old like, yeah we're going to have sessions now mostly yes. online because offline is uh, guys we have like 5 minutes max left so uh, pictures and wrap this up or so, we are like already running late if you guys sessions. are comfortable please open up your camera and let's take a group picture yes like for the wheel i was just waiting for this like sorry we are running 5 minutes late from the agenda we in depth of really it's okay please uh, i think so uh, 5 minutes my, is late it's okay it's fine it's fine it's okay i think that's okay something hi uh, it was nice i could not yeah. join yeah. on time for the debate but the speeches that i saw were great um the first is also a like very enthusiastic i saw on the chat box and even when they were telling their views nice to see i hope they all come and all the best thanks and my uh, just one sentence it was very cute uh, really nicely organized um, i hope you know to see a lot of participation so good job guys I think I see Sukesh in the meeting as well. If there's any final word that we might want. No, uh, I mean I told Bangi to just like you know ping me if I'm like free. I'll just turn off. I'm okay. okay. I'm hi, Sukesh. Hey, Bangi. Hey, Tanmay. Hey, Mansi. I just came and Deepika was changing and she ran off. I was not. No, she said she was not well. Probably why. Oh, Sukesh, Charan's person. Hey, Deepika, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Also, by the way, I am pretty sure. We'll talk offline. We'll talk offline, but yeah, I know. <laughs> but like, I know pretty much everybody is like, oh, time is going on and all of that stuff. But it's okay. You guys are all offline. You are in your home. You are in the comfort of your this thing. Pretty sure a bit of chit chat is not going to miss you. Your you know, uh, evening tea or coffee, whatever you guys are going to have. Just saying, you know. Uh, yeah.